Hey traders, welcome to the trading channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be talking about a couple of different things, including the calculations you'll need in a backtesting spreadsheet in order to find your edge over the market and how to create an equity curve chart in an Excel spreadsheet. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, then go ahead and click that like button for me. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to be alerted whenever we come out with other free educational content here on YouTube, as well as our weekly market predictions each Monday. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get today's video started. So the spreadsheet you see in front of you is an example of a spreadsheet I would have used at the beginning of my trading career. So the first thing we'll talk about is what are the necessary calculations that you need in order to find your edge over the market in a spreadsheet. So as we all know, back testing is a huge part of trading. It's the first process you have to go through to figure out if you have an edge over the market. And having an edge over the market means that you either win more than you lose with a higher winning percentage, like winning at a 60 or 70% winning percentage and a one-to-one -one risk reward, or winning at a high risk reward ratio, meaning that you only win 50% of the time, but you win at a two to one risk reward. Those are two examples of how you could have an edge over the market. And we find that edge through a process called back testing, which means we're testing the strategies that we're using to gain this edge throughout historical data. Now that's only half the battle, because after doing that, we have to plug in the numbers we found. When I say numbers, I mean our stop loss and our targets into a spreadsheet in order to see if we have an edge or an advantage over the market. Now the spreadsheet you see in front of you is an example of a spreadsheet I would have created at the beginning of my trading career. Very plain, very simple and easy to understand. It has the pair, the time, the date, my stop loss, my targets, and the pips I made and lost per trade. Now what does this spreadsheet fail to do? This spreadsheet fails to give me any necessary information about how I have an edge over the market. So what I would have to do at the beginning of my trading career is take a calculator and go through each of these trades and see how many losses I had. One, two, three, four, five, and continue that process throughout all the back tested trades I had in order to find my winning percentage by comparing my wins to my losses. I would have to go through here and add up all these wins and then go through here and add up all the stop loss in order to figure up my average risk to reward ratio just to find that edge over the market. Not to mention trying to figure out my drawdown and the percentage I gained on the account over this long period of time. Now this process isn't very difficult if you have 20 or 30 trades that you're looking at, but when it comes to back testing, as we all know, most of the time, we can have hundreds up to thousands of trades that we're taking a look at and going through all of these trades on your spreadsheet and calculating all of this by hand can be an extremely difficult process and not to mention very, very time consuming. So now let's take a look at an example of a spreadsheet that makes the necessary calculations that you need in order to find your edge over the market. All right, so here we are on my current back testing spreadsheet, and I also use this for forward testing and to keep up with live trades. But as you can see, this spreadsheet makes all the necessary calculations for you to figure out what your edge over the market is, or also to tell you if you're testing something that's not profitable, that doesn't have an edge over the market. And it does this by giving you the average pips one, the average stop loss in order to give you the average risk to reward ratio, tells you the total amount of pips gained on the account, tells you your total trades, your total wins and losses to give you your winning percentage, your total cash gain, your total percentage gain, and your maximum drawdown. And a really neat thing that I've incorporated into the spreadsheet as well is an adjustable starting balance and an adjustable risk per position. Also, this spreadsheet will automatically calculate the dollars you made or lost per trade, the total account pips, total account cash per trade, total gain and loss per trade and the total drawdown per trade. So this would be more of a correct back testing spreadsheet, giving you all the calculations necessary to actually create a profitable trading strategy and to see how much of an edge you have with that strategy. And just to show you guys exactly how it works, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paste in all the numbers from the EAP training program in here. And you'll see that all you have to do is enter the pair, time, date, stop loss, target one, and target two. And once entered, all the other calculations are done for you in a split second. As you can see, those calculations were made very quickly and show us that we have an average risk reward of 1.2. We've made around 5,000 total pips in the account. We've had 147 trades, 85 wins, 62 losses, giving us a winning percentage of 57.8%, a total percentage gain of 123% with a maximum drawdown of 7.73%. Now imagine trying to do all of these calculations by hand with a calculator or on a piece of paper. Needless to say, a spreadsheet like this can save you a tremendous amount of valuable time. And I highly suggest learning how to create a spreadsheet like this. Now personally, it took me around two years and a little over a thousand dollars paying for Excel spreadsheet courses in order to understand how to create a spreadsheet like this and the necessary functions and formulas it takes to create a spreadsheet that's capable of these calculations. So by all means, you could go that route and learn to do this yourself 
or we have a spreadsheet mastery course that actually comes with this same exact spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet is plug and play, meaning all you have to do is enter the pair, time, date, stop loss, target one, and target two, and everything else is calculated for you, plus you have an adjustable starting balance. So let's say you have a $50,000 account, it automatically adjusts for that account balance, or if you even have a $500 account, it will automatically adjust for that balance. Also, an adjustable risk per position for you to calculate your risk management and money management plan. If you're a little more risk tolerant, you could put 2% in that box, and that would adjust every calculation accordingly to that percentage. If you're a little less risk tolerant, you could only do a half a percent per position and everything is adjusted accordingly. So as you can see, this is a pretty powerful spreadsheet. And again, the spreadsheet mastery course does come with this exact spreadsheet as well as a full seven video training series that'll show you the functions and formulas necessary to create a spreadsheet like this. And we'll actually walk through creating the same exact spreadsheet in that course. So if you're interested in that, the link's in the description below. But if not, then that's fine too. You can absolutely figure out all of this on your own. It does take a little bit longer. So for those of you who want to save some time, again, that link is in the description, labeled Spreadsheet Mastery Course. But guys, that's pretty much all the calculations you need in order to find your edge over the market and to figure out whether or not a strategy is going to be profitable. So I would definitely figure out how to create a spreadsheet that's capable of these kind of calculations somehow. And when you do so, it will tremendously speed up your backtesting process and make backtesting much, much easier. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how you can actually create an equity curve chart in an Excel spreadsheet. So in order to do this, you will find a chart button. For me, it's right up here at the top and it looks like a pie graph, I'm circling it now. And you can do this one of two ways. You can either click that button that's labeled chart and then identify the range of numbers you want to calculate in the equity curve or the way I normally do it is just drag down the column that you want to base the equity curve on. So we'll go ahead and do the column that is the gain and loss percentage column. So this will give us an equity curve based on the percentage gained in the account and show us what our drawdowns look like and what our equity return looks like in a visual format on a graph. So just drag down all of those numbers and then click your little pie chart up there. Once you do that, I normally go to the line and go ahead and click lines only and smooth that out. Then you can just click finish. You can come over here to this right side of the equity curve and go ahead and delete the column K. You can adjust the size by the little dots on the equity curve. And of course you can adjust the position by dragging the equity curve up or down. And there we have our equity curve. Now in order to adjust the axis, just hover over the axis, axis being the X and Y axis of the equity curve. We're gonna take the X axis, go to format axis, positioning, and we're actually gonna put that on the outside start. What that's gonna do is put it on the bottom so that those numbers aren't coming across right there at the 0% and instead they'll be down here at the very bottom. I like that a little bit better. If you'd like to adjust your Y axis, then you just hover over the Y axis, go to format axis. Let's say you want to have a Y axis that shows you every 10% gained or lost on the accounts, so then you just go to scale. Right here it says automatic at major interval, automatic. You can uncheck that from automatic and go ahead and put in 10% there and hit OK. And as you can see, now you can see every 10% with a horizontal line here on your equity curve. Now we can also add a title to the equity curve. All you have to do is click anywhere on the equity curve outside of the chart, click insert titles and name it. We'll just call this EAP equity curve. And as you can see, there's our title. And now if you want to customize the colors of the chart or the colors of the line in the chart, you can just click on the chart itself, right click, go to format wall, area. I like to choose gradient and you can pick from any of these colors. So for me, I like the sunburst and I like to change the line here to black instead of blue. So now we have a professional looking equity curve with a title, with a customized color scheme, and you can play around with this and change the colors of the background, and you can go back to 20% over here on our Y axis. That's actually what I like better. So we're gonna go to scale, move this back to 20. And as I said, it's extremely simple to come out here and change the background of your equity curve. Just right click, click format wall, and pick whatever colors you would like. And guys, now that we're in here, I'm actually gonna show you how to pick a different data range for your equity curve. So this equity curve is based on a data range and that data range is the numbers we've selected right up here. The numbers that are in blue right in here, this column of numbers is our data range. So if you wanted to change that, you could click the line, right click, go down here, data ranges, click this little box that says select data range. Once you do that, scroll up, and you can choose a different range of data. So let's say you want to do your total account pips or your total account cash. Let's do total account cash. We just start there and go ahead and drag that all the way down. 
And now we'll have to adjust a few things like our Y axis. And instead of zero being the minimum for the Y axis, we'll go ahead and make that right here where it says minimum. You can change that. We'll change it to 9,000 because our account never went under 9,000. Our major intervals, I would rather that be 1,000. And there we have a much cleaner and better looking chart. With that different range of numbers, now we're plotting this equity curve based on the total amount of cash gained or lost in the account instead of based on the total percentage gained or lost. So that's how you could pick a different range of numbers to calculate the equity curve from. So traders, that is creating an equity curve chart in an Excel spreadsheet. And that is all the calculations you'll need a spreadsheet to make for you in order to determine if you have an edge over the market or not based on your back testing results. And again, guys, if you're interested in learning more about formulas and functions and how to create a spreadsheet that's exactly like this one, or if you're just interested in getting your hands on this exact spreadsheet to be able to plug in your back testing results and find your edge over the market or adjust the risk per position in order to create a risk or money management plan, then the link to the spreadsheet mastery course is in the description below. And we're currently offering a half off discount for the first 100 people to sign up for that course. So if you click the link in the description and head over there quickly, you can actually get this entire course for under a hundred bucks, which in my opinion is an incredible value. I've seen similar spreadsheets go for anywhere between 500 and a thousand dollars. So make sure to check that out if you're interested. And we also have a training program for struggling traders that is more chart based and technical analysis based. So if you'd like to try out the EAP training program, you can also find that link in the description below. Other than that, guys, if this information was valuable to you and if you enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and click that like button for us to help support the channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever we come out with other educational content. And click the notification bell to make sure you're alerted whenever we come out with weekly market predictions each and every Monday. I wish you guys the best of luck on all your future trade. I hope you're trading green, and I'll talk to you in the next video.